Oh man, let me log into this crazy Keela's life on YouTube, man. See what all the bugs is about. Become a lunatic like all these other people. It's crazy Keela. Crazy Keela's life. It's crazy Keela. Crazy Keela's life. Crazy Keela. Crazy Keela. Subscribe, become a lunatic. Hey y'all, so it's Friday and I'm on my way. As y'all can see my face still so I'm gonna put some more ice on it when I get home. Um, I'm on my way to drop my off to school, but she said this morning that my mother picked up yesterday. She said grandma said they didn't have school, but my mother wouldn't answer the phone. But I will find out once I get there, but I think they do have school because the teacher sent me a message and said they were having snack day today. And that I can send out, send everybody some money for snack. So, right here, they got a cut on my lip. And they had my mouth all open and stuff and digging. It had a cut on my lip. And then I got a lot of dry skin right there too. I'll show you when you come on. I did put some lip oil on my lip. But they was really in this mouth trying to get it. Was, it was this bottom tooth they were trying to get when they did that. I felt them when they cut it. That's the crazy thing. I'm like, did they just cut my lip? I didn't feel the actual cut, but I felt something on my lip. And I was like, it kind of felt like a, like, and I was like, did they cut my lip? And I'm saying, it actually did cut my lip. It is what it is. I'm trying to heal and get better so I can get back to my wonderful life, okay? Because right now I look like Alvin in the freaking chick Muffins. More like Theodore from Alvin and the Muffins. This is why I don't like you getting Okay. Wisdom. Maya said that's why she don't like me getting my wisdom teeth out. Me neither, Maya. Me neither. <laughs> so. This weekend, I don't have much plans because I can't do anything. My daughter, Edward, she is doing my lashes for her company. But I saw her take pictures from the what? face that this part down because she don't want to. She don't want nobody to see all this. I don't want nobody to see all this. Look at this. My face is really, I need to really, like, tighten up on the ice. I do do the ice, but I, I'm with the kids and dealing with the kids and taking naps during the day to try to help them heal because I'm starving all day and night. Huh? My tooth feel better, but I'm still like it's still like sore a little bit. Like y'all, my jaw feel real tight, and when I move it, it feel real tight and uncomfortable. I don't know what that means. He had me move my jaw when I was numbed up to see if I could move it. He was like, "Good." So I wonder if that's the thing. Like he like when he was worried about whether I was gonna be able to move my damn jaw. Who knows? But um. Oh boy. <clears throat> so I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna eat an egg today. I may try the egg tomorrow. I'm scared. I don't wanna do the cream of wheat again today. I did cream of wheat yesterday. It was not good without something else. I always eat, well when I was little I used to eat cream of wheat by myself, but I like to eat it with bacon or eggs or something like that. And it is not good by itself to me. I'm just not used to eating it by itself. So I don't know if I should scramble, like I do a soft scrambled egg, or um, I don't know. I just eat some soup for breakfast. I got plenty of soup, I'll tell you that much. I got some tomato soup, and um, I might eat some tomato soup for breakfast. I just, I may eat some of that, you know, that, um, that soup was that soup that, that some of that broccoli and cheese soup for breakfast. <laughs> I really wanted some eggs. I mean, I just want to, I probably ain't going to like the name on eggs by itself. And I used to eat egg body stuff all the time when I was younger, but I got spoiled now. And eggs is like a side little thing to me. I need some bacon eggs and something else. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm better something. 
If I'm gonna eat an egg by itself, it gotta be an omelet. I done got spoiled, honey, y'all. My face is like really swollen. I don't like it. But um, I'm hoping by Monday, Sunday or Monday, I'm able to eat because this man, this is for the birds. <laughs> huh? No, it's not gonna grow back, baby. They just took it out. And you know what's crazy though, because on our paperwork it says after a few days. I'm thinking a few is three. So I'm thinking after tomorrow. Because the first day, I don't know if you count Wednesday is the first day. I got it done in the morning. But I guess you count it as the first day. Thursday is the second day. Today is Friday. It's the third day. And I think I'm going to throw in Saturday. It's a bonus day of not eating. Um, maybe Sunday I can start back eating. No, I'm scared though. Because they was like, you don't want to bust your stitches. And the stitches, they said the stitches fall out for three to five days. My stitches ain't failed out yet. So, maybe they're going to stay in there for a little while longer. Because I don't, I don't want to, you know, I let them come out when they come out. He said they come out on their own. So, I let them come out when they come out. But I ain't messing with them. They stay in there. They just stay in there because I ain't messing with them, honey. I ain't, if I go in there on my two-week visit and they still there, I'm pretty sure they're going to take them out. But... <laughs> I don't want them hanging out and then I gotta pull them out because I don't know how to do none of that. Mm -mm. I don't know how to do none of that. They might be them dissolving them stitches. I don't know. They, he said they come out now. So, that's what it is. Like, they need to put their dang on lights on, honey. Well, I'm gonna holler at y'all later because once I get out of school, I gotta get this um, little boy fed. And um, I, don't know. I don't even know. I know I wanna eat food. By this time, with my other two, I was eating food, but I wound up getting a dry socket. But the doctor told me the date I had surgery. You can eat whatever you want to. Because, like I said, I got three pulled this time. I already had got one pulled previous one because it was in compacted. Like two years ago, I got that one pulled. It was compacted, and um, it was like I needed to get it out before it started causing girl problems. So, um, I got that out, and the doctor was like, no, you can eat whatever you want to. Just chew it up the side of your mouth. Why don't I get a dry socket because food and stuff got stuck in there. Mind you, when she, and then he goes when he goes to you know, clean it out and tell me I got a dry socket. Oh, yeah, you know, because food moves around in your mouth. Well, why would you tell me to eat food? Is that you should have just said eat liquids and dry food. I mean, not dry food liquids and soft foods and like stuff this that's what you should have told me not eat whatever you want because that's exactly what i did i ate whatever i wanted and see what happened <coughs> so i'm glad i went to an oral surgeon and not just a dentist to get it done <coughs> because that sound that i didn't put no stitches in there he didn't really give me clear instructions. Like I said, I was like, well, what about? He was like, you get, you might want to wait. Till, this is what he told me. You might want to wait till the numbing goes away so you're not biting your tongue or biting your lips or stuff. He said, but once the numbing goes away, you can eat whatever you want. That's what he told me. That's the instructions I got from a dentist. I look so fat in the face because this is, I look like I got a big jaw. Look, y'all. Oh, my God. I can't wait to all this go down. Please, Lord, help me. Right, I'll holler at y'all later. Hey, y'all. My face is gone down some, but it's still swollen. I'm about to have this real quick with um, my, my, um, my vitamins. I have, well, not vitamins. I didn't get my vitamins from upstairs, but... I had to take ibuprofen. But you see how that stuff I've been cleaning up this morning and um, getting the kids ready for the day. Washing clothes, everything. Yeah, I've been washing clothes, cleaning up. Stop with my. I've been washing clothes, cleaning up, getting the kids ready for the day. And so, you, you being real hard here. What did I, I just say? I'm aggravated because I run into
I need to go get my vitamins from upstairs. I need to go upstairs to get my vitamins, but I'm making a my, my eyes eating a sandwich. A fat man ate a sandwich and he's left filled with pizza from yesterday. And um, I got some sausage and waffles in there because I might want a sausage and waffle. Also, a fat man said he didn't want that. But um, as y'all can see, it's still, I can't open my mouth all the way. It's hard to brush my teeth. It's like, because I'm trying to be real careful for them um, extraction sites. But this is difficult, y'all. I ain't lying to y'all. It's difficult. Mm, 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 mm. But let me go upstairs and get my vitamins. And then I'm going to... um. I am going to try to eat me an omelet. I'm just going to do a little bit more research first. I'm going to try to eat me an omelet for lunch and see how that works out. My husband brought, bought me plenty of potatoes to eat potatoes. But I'm, I'm honestly, I'm tired of eating soft foods. I'm being honest with y'all. I'm sick of it. I got to swish real quick after I finished this protein drink. I swish. Not swish. I literally put salt water in my head and I go like this. That's how they said I'm supposed to do. So, that's what I've been doing with the salt water. So, um, and I do that so I don't get an infection. And the clean out my extraction site. So, if something gets inside of it, it comes out when I'm swishing. Or doing the right thing. Huh? I don't know. Are you yes. Hi, Mog. You sound like Amaya when you said that. I know, that's the point. Let me go ahead and finish doing what I'm doing. I'll holler at y'all in a minute. Hey, y'all. So, um, I did my eyebrows because my daughter is putting lashes on today. And um, I'm like a brand ambassador for her. One of the brand ambassadors for her business. And she wanted to do some pictures and videos of my eyelashes when I said do my eyelashes and I just felt like my eyebrows need to be done. I'm about to get ready. What, huh? Okay, let me get my, I gotta get my jacket. Okay, go ahead, baby. My, and she's taking my daughter here now because she's my daughter here. So I'm about to go buy some hair for my daughter and some beads. And I see y'all when I get in the car. Yeah, I'm putting ice on my face because it's, I'm supposed to ice it, period. I get back at y'all. It's when I get in the car. Return this. Yeah. So I'm in the car, my daughter about to come. Um. Oh, honey. Come on, boo. I'm about to run to the store and get some hair for my um for Maya, my five year old. As y'all can see, my face is. Still. I told Charlie when she take pictures, when she take pictures from this side up because the sheets, honey. Like I'm storing next winter's food or something yeah. in my cheeks. That's what it felt like. And I gotta go to um, the beauty salon, so like I said, and get some hair and some beads. I think I'm gonna do colorful beads. What you think? Yeah, that'd be cute. But oh god, we gonna go to Uniques. Okay. Or do you think I should go to the other one? Unix has more of a variety than Beauty World does too. Yeah. Oh, goodness, y'all. Yes, I burned my ice with me because this is my, my my cheeks are hurting. I don't even want to say my extraction sites are hurting. It's my cheeks that are hurting. And they swollen. I don't know if that's a normal thing. And I've been trying to switch the size I have. Um, I'm putting the um, ice on. But it's what it is. The problem uh, is normal because um, Sarah, you know, Sarah got her um, wisdom teeth taken out. <coughs> mm -hmm. And her face is just like yours. She was saying her cheeks were in too. Mm -hmm. So it probably is normal. She didn't get no infection or anything, right? Mm -hmm. What did she eat? Uh, applesauce. How many days? I'm not sure about that. Oh, I Sarah. Say the first couple days she ate applesauce and then because I need to know. <laughs> no, I, need to. I need to know because I'm tired of eating this. She probably ain't gonna 
bed. She's already asleep. Friends probably don't do not disturb. I know she's awake. She has to work in the morning. But she got to work at 11. Or was it not? She might be at work. She might be. Let me check her schedule. My daughter will hit check her schedules. Because her schedule is right under mine. Which mm. is weird. No, she works at 11 to... She probably get ready because it's ten. It's ten to eighteen. She probably get ready. Probably. Oh, I don't want to. Um, I should get some stuff in touch. But yeah, oh, I'm gonna get my husband to put some air in there for a tire, but because it's saying it's low pressure, but it does that when it get cold. I'm trying to tell y'all, and my tires stay saying low pressure when it get cold. Can't say No, I always gotta go Playing house, this ain't a home with my soul On the road I can't say No, I always gotta go Playing house, this ain't a home with my soul On the road I can't sit still for a minute I'm so dead set on indifference Keep it Charlie, stay down with them dickens Let's get around like it's the 80s Right round, let's keep spinning Let's keep playing these games that we don't want to finish And I'm sorry if that sounds a bit bitter But I am to the core You want the whole damn thing Then you ask him for more You want that old jive swing You take up all of the floor I'm fine with standing at the edge of the door You be the life of the party I blend in with the core You drink it all to Bacardi Till the bottle's no more Let's take it back for this started You want the love, I don't got it You screaming stay Baby, please don't go Don't think it's in me to listen to foe It's so different We distance, we roam in the zones Where nothing get hurt anymore I just wish I was home When I step through front door But instead I'm alone and completely unsure And even though you're screaming out With the best of intentions I don't get it Why do you always gotta ask me to stay? Why you always gotta go? Playing house, this ain't a home with your soul on the road. Say, why you always gotta go? Playing house, this ain't a home with your soul on the road. See, I've been lost in my thoughts, and my thoughts stay too obscure to usher off. Sorry, Mom, I just thought you were my world. Now you're not. And I'm just sitting, smoking, sloping in the days Cause my days ain't been the same since I drove your ass away I remember the way you wrote letters in blue ink You and me was in love Give a fuck what your crew think I know your moms probably think I'm a bastard Your pops probably wanna beat my ass to death And take a piss in my casket But I got sick of fighting, bickering, fussing Over nothing, cussing Instead of fucking watching the death of discussions that we once had Days that we once spent in the backseat of our cars Reading poets at sunset It's funny how love can fall out the foreground Get pushed into the back of your mind We used to twist the spliff and laugh and relax Now you crying and I'm trying to find the reason So I ask, does forever ever happen? Or is it always fade to black? I can't say No, I always gotta go this ain't a home with my soul on the road. I can't stay. No, I always gotta go. Playing house, this ain't a home with my soul on the road. That was a quick one, Marlene. I was just discussing with my daughter the change in my content I was talking about doing. Like, I might just start and stop doing the weekly vlog and do like daily vlogs. I just noticed um my weekend vlogs get more views than my weekly vlogs. That's because I'm, I, I told you guys I, I'm, I don't go out the way and find stuff to do to have content. I mean, what I do in my life is what I do in my life, and that's what I show y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, what I think I'm gonna start doing is 
Um, I can't wait to tell you my eyelash. That, when I have my eyebrows done, I feel like I need to have my eyelashes done because my face looks so plain. Like, it's different when I don't have my, like, I can have my eyelashes done without my eyebrows. Once I have my eyebrows done, it literally feel like I gotta have my eyelashes done. <clears throat> Now, like I was telling y'all before, I just feel like um, I just what I want to do is like create content on the weekends when I'm doing something, or do like a daily content or a date night content or uh, a day in a life content. But I think weekly content is just too much. It's too much, and um, I don't really feel like you guys are you know, feeling the weekly content, like getting it all week like that. I mean, I do, I do still plan on doing story times, and I got to start picking that up. And uh, once I'm able to eat again, I'm going to do muck buying. Am I saying it right? Muck bags. <laughs> my mouth is still swollen. So I can't say certain stuff. Like, my, my gums are hurting. But it's not an excruciating pain. It's like, it's literally like, um, it's like, um, soreness and discomfort is not like excruciating pain but nobody wants to be not comfortable nobody <laughs> so and I got the hair and stuff if I can get my daughter to hit my, my daughter to do my youngest daughter's hair so I don't have to worry about doing it for like a few weeks and that's wonderful because it's nice to not have to wake up and do her hair it saves me time, don't worry. I really didn't do a whole lot of makeup. I did a little bit, like a dab of you know, my Esther Lauder. I can't even see it. That, my dad on Memphis woman. I did that foundation, but I only did like a tad of it, and I did some concealer underneath my eyes, um, because she needs to be able to you know, take pictures of this part. You know, see, see how how much better it looked than when you add this fat face down here and this dad on swelling. Yeah. Ain't that a school right there? That's not the one that's the school, right? I was thinking it was the school that Grace went to. It's, it's further up, right? Yeah, we already passed people. Oh, okay. But, yeah, my face is like not the best today. I almost feel like they cut into my jaw. Because when I looked inside my mouth, I was like, why do my jaw look like that? It looked like somebody ate up my side of my mouth. It's crazy. Like, I don't know. Get that damn tooth out. They had to work, work, honey. Because, honey, since the mouth is holding, it almost feels like, you know how if you bite the side of your mouth and the things start healing, that's what it feels like. Yeah, that's what my my that's what my mouth felt like on the inside. It felt like it was, and it, because it's such a big hole, it's probably feeling like it's to the extreme. You know what I'm saying? But it felt like I did a hole inside my mouth by mistake and it's healing. Yeah, that's what it felt like. But when I get home, I think I'm gonna. I was gonna try to make some egg. I ain't gonna lie. But I'm still scared. I don't think I'm gonna make me some soup. Make me some soup and then eat me some ice cream or some yogurt or something. Um, because I want to be super careful. So I'll make some tomato soup. And, um, for now. And then make some mashed potatoes with some more tomato soup later. <clears throat> I'm supposed to start making them damn beans. When I get home, I need to start making them black eyed peas because I was going to make some beans and like mash them up and eat them like that. I mean, I don't know what else to do. I'm just trying my best to do what I can. That's to, well, I got to do what I got to do. Making Well, I might just, you know what? I might put them in the, after I cook them, put them in a the processor. It makes it mushy. I don't know why I thought air fryer would be so processed. No, I'm saying I'm, I'm gonna cook them and put them in the. That's what I'm gonna do. Cook them and put them in the processor. Season them real good. So when I'm eating my black eyed peas, honey, and they mushy, it's still and keep keep talking about something. Well, what's the problem of mashing them? I said that's just weird. He was like, well, when you chew it, it mashes the food, right? Right. 
Yes, I know that, but I mean, who wants to be hit with it? Looked all mashing. I'm sure Black Eyed Peas, when it mashed, looks like doo doo. <laughs> and my lip is still, my lip over here is hurting because I felt, it didn't feel like pain when they did it. But I felt one of them tools like scrape up against my lip, and I was like, he just nicked my lip. And he did. The surgeon nicked my lip, lip with one of the tools, and it, it, it's, it's healing too. That's healing too. How great. How great. I just got a sore mouth that's healing. Don't take, and think about it when you have a kinker sore or uh, you bite a hole in your mouth or something. I call those canker sores too because it's basically a sore that got to heal in your mouth. Mm -hmm. um, but when you have that, it takes like a week for it to feel better. Mm -hmm. My whole mouth is like that from them digging in my dang old mouth. I got it might take more than a week. holes in my whole mouth. This is stupid. So with the, the two that were... Okay, so it was like one wisdom tooth on each side. No, they have one up. I already had the one down here taken out. They they took this one up at the top out and these two. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to get it all done at once because I can't imagine not being able to eat two different times. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Right here is where you cut my lip. I felt it too. I knew that's what they did. Mm -hmm. I mean, they did what they had to do, I guess. It was hard to get that tooth out. And the man was trying with all his might to get that damn tooth out, I promise you. I didn't think he was going to be able to get it out because they took, they took a break and he was saying, you know, if, um, yeah, he wasn't able to. Yeah, he said he gave he, he gave me some more medicine in my mouth because I start feeling the pain, and he took a break, like a, a five or six minute break, and was like, if he can't get it out, they had somebody coming in and say, if he can't get out, I'm gonna have to come back, and another day and get sedated and put to sleep for them to take it out. Wow. Well. <laughs> and I ain't gonna lie, when they was taking it out, when he came back, it still was hurting, but I wasn't gonna tell him that because I wanted him to get that damn tooth out. <laughs> But it's neither here nor there. It's done now. But my jaw still feel tight. I don't know if y'all experienced that, but y'all jaw feel tight. And my mouth still not opening all the way. So I don't know how people go and they go eat burgers after they damn get they. I don't understand the logic in that. You can't even open your mouth wide enough to bite a damn burger. I barely even open my mouth enough to put a damn spoon in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I don't have that job when I get in the house because I gotta get this hair. I got to make me some soup. And my husband should be home right now. I don't know. He may not be because the barbershop be crowded on Saturday. And he don't can't go on Thursday anymore because he said I gotta take his mom and mother to the dial. This my mother in law. So. Well, pick her up from dialysis. So. I was on a date with her. No, we're not going nowhere. And going on a date with my face for like this. Girl, I ain't going nowhere until I can eat some food and you know, my face ain't swollen and I can actually feel comfortable. See, I'm talking, y'all. That I, It's not comfortable talking. That's why I said doing this vlog is very difficult because I'm talking to y'all. But it's difficult because my mouth is hurting while I'm talking to y'all. Okay? So, with all that being said, I gotta go. So, I did my daughter's, um, they took the pictures and did the videos for my daughter for her, um, eyelashes. These are her eyelashes. These are lavish. That's the name of these. She has different names for different ones. And they are beautiful. But, um... I'm probably gonna have these on for a few days before I take them off. Um, but I'm about to fix me some soup. My husband is frying sausages, being so disrespectful to me, knowing I can't eat. He's frying sausages over there, looking handsome, frying sausages, and I'm starving. So let me go have my soup.
I'm not excited about this damn suit. Just want y'all to know. But let me, and he did, just did the dance. Disrespectful. He disrespectful. He happy that he's eating and I'm starving. Disrespectful. Well, let me go ahead and go. My daughter will be doing my, um, my oldest daughter will be doing my youngest daughter's hair. And um, I will get back to icing my jaw and eating my soup. I'll see y'all in a minute. Look y'all, instead of making the tomato soup, I made an omelet. I gave it to my daughter because my daughter was like, what are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? She's eating it over there. Is it good, Shade? Exceptional. Exceptional. So I decided to fry me a regular egg because they said you can eat egg with cheese with a little parsley on top just to make it look like something. And a yogurt. That's what I'm eating. I'm gonna let y'all see, hold on. That's my, my eggs with cheese with parsley and some pepper. And that's my yogurt. Ooh, strawberry yogurt. And this is my ice pack. This is my life, okay? This is my life, okay? <laughs> that's my life. So, let me go ahead and eat. So, I realize how you're supposed to eat eggs. I'm not chewing it. I'm just making sure it's not... Yeah, it's taking my extraction stakes, but I am gonna gargle with the salt water to see, just to get anything else that's left over. But you put it in your mouth, and then you press it to the roof of your mouth, and then swallow. So you're not chewing. You're putting it in your mouth. Your tongue is literally doing all the work. So that works because I can start eating, like I said, eggs and tomato soup in the morning. It gives me some type of substance because I'm I'm starving. Yeah, I'm starving. But this is better. This is better. So this, this is actually how I eat my yogurt and my ice cream too. So I guess this is all... My jaw really hurts. It hurts for me to open my mouth too wide. Mm. So I got y'all to finish eating my eggs and um, my yogurt. How about y'all in a minute? Uh, I got some stuff from, matter of fact, let me put it right here. The lighting is so much better over there though. Shoot, I don't know. Yeah, my shirt is a little dirty. I've been wearing it all day. I got the package from Amazon. Actually, two, two packages from Amazon. One, two. I'm gonna open this one first. I need something. I swear. I thought it was. I'm trying to think it was something I was supposed to bring and drop off. Hold on. I think I had a text. I don't know. It was something I was supposed to bring back from there. I got. Like elderberry gummies for the kids. See? For kids. And it's supposed to be two. I'm going to open this up up there. These are supposed to be two things for storage. Underneath under bed storage. I store some clothes underneath the bed. And this right here is supposed to be Amaya's costume for. I want her to be Josephine Baker. So I got her costume from Amazon. Here we go, here we go. I want to spruce it up a little bit just to make it a look, look a little bit better. Oh, shoot. I'm going to take it out to see what it looks like. This is so cute. Look, y'all, look. It's like a wrong 20s. And I'm going to be Josephine Baker. This has the little feather. I think I'm going to go get more feathers from... 
I think I'm gonna give some more feathers from Walmart and hot glue them to this so she can wear this. And that'll look so cute, yeah. Which one is the front one? Yeah, that's the back, this is the front. I'm gonna hang this up in her closet, but I'm gonna take this stuff upstairs and I'm gonna show y'all this, what it look like open up because I gotta store some clothes in it anyway. Sorry, hold on for one minute. Okay, so I'm upstairs, I'm opening this. Hopefully it does what it needs to do. Had pretty good ratings and it didn't cost much. It was like fifteen dollars. Now people complain that it didn't it wasn't stable. I think it does what it's supposed to do. It's a bag. It's like a bag, a square shaped bag. And you put your stuff in here. And it, when you put your stuff through your stuff in here, it makes it pop out. See, it's popping up already. Popping it's popping up, but it's not going to be as, you know, and I'm trying to think what I'm going to put in this one. Probably pants. Probably pants in this one. And pants in this one. And shirts in this one. I don't know. Maybe I do put pants and shirts in this one and lingerie. I have a bunch of lingerie. But I'm going to show y'all what it looks like. Now, I ignore the clothes on the bed. I'm folding the clothes, and that's my charger. But this is what the thing looked like. It's a square, and it's pretty big. And it will fit underneath the bed, because I know my bed is kind of low. It's high, but it's low. It's a slate. It's a, um, it don't have a lot of room for nobody to crawl up in there. Like, I can't crawl up underneath there, but this is enough space, because I measured before I ordered for this to fit underneath. Now, my bed is pretty high, but you can't crawl underneath it. So, I'm about to start trying to pack stuff in there now. Yeah, I'm going to try to put some pants and stuff in here. Try to figure this out. I don't know if I'm going to put, like, my exercise stuff. Because I got a bunch of exercise stuff. I might put some exercise stuff. I got so much exercise stuff that I thought put it in this other drawer. Because I got a lot. I got a lot of it. And it don't make no dang no sense. Put some exercise stuff. I gotta figure this out. I might put exercise stuff in here and some pants. Because I, I don't know. I don't know. I gotta figure this out. I'll get at y'all in a minute. Good morning, good morning, happy Sunday. Some more swimming room went down. Yeah, Still a little head swollen. Grow. Her head, she said her head grow. My daughter did some not was braising my daughter in Amaya's hair, so um and I meant to show y'all that yesterday because it was done yesterday. But it was so much going on. Wait a minute, Fats. She wants you to see her hair. Come on, Fats. Daddy? Daddy's downstairs. Hold on. I'm going to let y'all see. Look at my daughter dancing. Look, look at this girl. What are you doing, Fats? Look at that man dancing. Look at that man dancing. No? Oh! Yeah, that's another machine package I got to go through. You see? Oh, Fats. Come here. Come here. Let's just look at your hair. Turn around. Come here. My daughter did such a good job. Turn around, turn around. I did. I like the fact that she still let her look, made her look like a little kid. Look, look at this. She wanted a heart in her hair. Look at this. I want to see the heart. She want to see the heart in the mirror. She, she looks so cute. And I wanted beads on it because to me, it gives me the little more childish look. And she's a child. Come here, turn around, Maya. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. She is so silly. So I'm fixed breakfast. The kids are eating. I'm gonna let y'all see. They have waffles and sausages. I might eat all her waffles already. Now I made me a waffle and I made me a scrambled egg with like vegetables and stuff in it. And I'm gonna take my time and eat this and see if I can eat this. Cause y'all see my face is still swollen. So I put some ice on it as I eat. But I want to see if I can eat this. I want y'all to to watch me for a minute because I'm I'm gonna put this on the stand. Hold up for a minute, y'all. Okay, y'all. This is what I made. I don't know if I showed y'all. I'm nervous, y'all. I'm so nervous. I, I let the dessert soak in here to make it soft. So possibly I can just um, like put little pieces in my mouth, like so on like this. If I use my front teeth with a waffle and then put it at the top of my mouth and it's a lot of my tongue, 
it works, but I can't let it go to the back. Let me try the egg. I'm nervous, y'all. It works like that for the egg, too. So, it looks like right now, I can eat waffles if I cut them into small pieces. And I just wanted to try. If not, I would have had to roll it away and give it to somebody. Like I gave my omelet to my daughter yesterday. y'all i used to eat i'm used to eat fast my husband will tell you i eat super fast with this i can't eat that now they didn't want to do an omelet <coughs> because with the omelet you got to do more chewing but this should be okay so i should be fine with this When I start eating, I can feel the daggone stitches in my mouth. It's just crazy. I almost feel like food is right there, but I know food ain't over right now. I'm literally chewing one of my front teeth, pressing it against my top mouth. It's, um, so, just so y'all know, that's something y'all can do. Use your front teeth right here to chew, like, bread or something. Uh -huh. and, and, um, Thank you. We all know we usually use our back teeth to chew. But there's some people that don't have back teeth. I'm sure they only get a, can use their front teeth. So it, I'm sure it's possible. So And I'm sure it's possible because I'm doing it right now. So, I put more syrup on it because the parts of it was still crunchy. The waffle, I want to make sure it was soft. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You full? What? So, I'm going to finish this up, y'all. Take my time, it's gonna take me like five right. minutes to eat. Usually, it'll take me that long to eat. But I gotta do what I gotta do. Get the food down. I have a job in this. Hey, y'all, so I'm about to. I'm tired, y'all. I'm about to make start making dinner. It's early. It's only like one or something, but I wanna get out the way. I don't wanna just. I wanna just get out the way. I made my mom some macaroni and cheese earlier, but I'm making my family some macaroni and cheese. My mom having something in her house. With some church people, and she asked me to make her some macaroni and cheese. So I did that all right. All right, I said, all right. Already. And now I'm about to do me and my family's dinner. I'm not doing a whole lot. I was able to eat down the seat tonight if I can eat some chicken. I'm baking it. So I'm going to bake it too. It's like kind of falling off the bone. I'm making sweet potatoes because I can mash them up. I'm making green beans because I can make them soft enough so I can mash those up. And um, macaroni and cheese, they said I can eat. And one of my things I can eat, macaroni and cheese, was one of them. So I'm going to do that tonight. Hey, y'all. Hi, buddy. You hear my kids? This is my life, y'all. My mouth is kind of sore. For a while. I think it's because it's healing. Because I look at it. And around the gum area where they made the incisions and pulled the tooth out. It's, it's turning white. And when I looked it up, they said that means it's a good thing. It means it's healing. But, like I told y'all, it almost feel like my jaw, like it almost felt like they cut into my jaws. It's not like the tooth hurt. It's like this. The, I wish I could show y'all, but I can bleed with my mouth wide enough to show y'all. But it's almost feel like, like I said, like I bit a chunk out of my, and it's healing. And I have that feeling of it's healing. That's what it feels like. So, let me go ahead and start cooking. 
Hey, these kids doing so much. I holler at y'all next. From this world Running on a hamster wheel But searching for something I can't feel I just wanna be a lost girl And fly Take a breath, feel my wings spread Navitate above the ground And make eye contact with clouds Now I'm rising I'm soaring Above I just finished dinner. Everything is done, and I'm gonna cook the you know, sweet potatoes, the chicken, the green beans, and the macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna let y'all see. Hold on. Sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Chicken, green beans, macaroni and cheese. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, but I can't do that. Now, I had to put it in the smaller part. You see the cheese and stuff was bubbling out. So I knew that was gonna happen. So I put the pie right. Uh, I put a uh, cookie sheet and I put the washing paper underneath. Y'all, excuse me. My kids are hollering. around. I'm about to feed them and, and eat something myself. We are gonna see how this goes. Let y'all see me eat this food because I'm nervous, boo. When I'm, I'm gonna try to make it do what it do. Um, my daughter, me and my daughter did talk about me starting. Let me get out with the light. It's too bright in here. Me starting. A uh, cooking series on my channel where I make food and um, I um, do recipes and show y'all. I think that'll be a good idea. So, so y'all stay tuned because I think I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do that. But I got to tell my husband. My daughter talking. I'm about to go tell my husband dinner. And I, I'll let y'all see me try this food in a minute. Hold on. I always got this door closed. He was checking, checking me and the kids out. Babe, dinner ready. Huh? Dinner ready. Mom, okay. Macaroni and cheese? Yes, I'm going to eat macaroni and cheese. Oh, I want macaroni and cheese. So, let me go ahead and get this kid's food ready. And I'll have a child in a minute. This is my plate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mine is over there eating. She only wanted macaroni. He got macaroni and piece of chicken because he didn't want nothing else. I can do And I'm about to see how it is. Mom. To eat this food, y'all. Mom, when Kayla always says when you eat your food, do this. So I can cool down. This is some cream macaroni cheese. Mm. It's creamy, ain't it? Let me try the chicken. Because I'm trying to figure this whole true thing out. Why well, they hot in the blog? Major lunatics. Hi, lunatics. Yes, baby. Hi, lunatics. It takes me longer to eat this way, but I'm able to eat. Mm. What? Mm. Want this? Mom, Want to try it? Huh? What do I always eat? Try it. What do I always eat? My hair gets in my mouth. It's it good. You don't like it? No. He don't like my sweet potatoes. I knew he didn't because he didn't usually eat them. You got your own chicken, look. Mommy. Can I take the meat off of the bone? No, he want my chicken. He pointed to my chicken. I do miss just putting food in my mouth, chewing this all on I thought you could eat food. Mama, I thought you could eat food. I can't. I got to take my time, Amaya. Let's try these green beans. Now, I think the green beans are going to be easy. Yeah, they break up real easy. And the green beans good. They eat tomatoes. 
tomato? No. But they want some tomatoes. So I wasn't really scared about eating the macaroni and cheese because it said the thing. Um, there was macaroni some tomatoes in, ma in the mac and but cheese. But I was more scared about eating the um, chicken more than anything. But the chicken is easy. Mm -hmm. Mama, I thought you were going to eat food. I thought you could eat food. Mom. I can eat food, but I gotta be careful. I can't eat it. It's a lot of stuff I can eat still, but okay. I'm mashing his potatoes up a little bit now. Damn, it's good. Or sweet potato. Yeah, it's so good. Mama, I like your eyebrows. Make your itchy. Making sure. Making sure. My food. The food. I'm a copycat. I'm going to be a copycat. Don't get stuck in any of my distraction spots. Mm -hmm. But I'm doing good. I'm going to go ahead and eat. Mm -hmm. I'll hit y'all in a little bit.